Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This will be the second part of a three-part tutorial on how to make a small uh, uh, natural environment in um, Cinema 4D and Octane Render. In this part we will focus on the uh, surfaces and the textures. Uh, we will uh, use uh, uh, Cinema 4D, Octane Render and the Quick Cell Mixer. Also we will use some uh, uh, mega scans sets as well as external textures uh, that we will import in the quicksell mixer if you remind if you have seen uh, the first part uh, this is where we stopped the terrain is uh, configured with uh, three different uh, surfaces uh, the um, gray part is uh, rocks the uh, green part is grasses and the brown part is mud and there's also a water plane that I'm hiding there uh, that will be uh, that will appear there that does not need any uh, texture to create uh, all the textures needed for this this scene uh, we will we'll use the quicksell mixer here it is and uh, I've created a new project here and let's start by creating a new mix for the mud part so um, in order to um, to make realistic terrains uh, I generally follow a ruler that uh, I found useful um, if you create several different uh, maps several different textures for the same terrain uh, it is better if you include the same uh, material one common material in every one of them and uh, this way you will uh, keep a, a coherence between the three and uh, between the, your different ter terrain maps uh, which will not be the case if you create uh, entirely different different uh, textures uh, from the same uh, mega scans sets so uh, here's my Megascan library. Uh, I will choose one common uh, one common um, uh, texture for the three materials I will create, and this texture will be uh, stones in uh, on the uh, on the ground. Uh, as you see here. Uh, let's increase the repetition to 3 in order to get more details I'm working on a 2x2 two two meters plane uh, for larger terrains uh, 4x4 four four meters might be uh, necessary that's the first layer and we'll add some more uh, as I said I wanted to I want to it to be the mud part so let's add some uh, uh, more muddy texture into this material um, as you not probably noticed the uh, base color is a bit different between the two this the soil dirt texture is more red than this one so to, to make it more coherent between the two I will uh, adapt the uh, diffuse uh, color of the uh, second map I added to match the first the hue here is 36 so here yeah, it is 44 so in order to make, bring it closer I will use 38 and as you can see it matches more closely uh, the um, the first map um, if you activate uh, the tiling preview you can see that uh, it creates uh, some rather regular uh, uh, structures that can be seen with uh, the eye so I will uh, add the third map with uh, some little debris uh, that uh, will appear at the bottom of the uh, of the river um, 
trying to find one that is suitable. Maybe I will narrow my search to soil only. That one could be interesting. So this one added some uh, small details and smaller uh, areas. It's not small enough, so let's reduce the size. And well, what I'll do now is add a noise layer above the um, the mud layer, or maybe on, on above the soil dirt, in order to make it appear only in some areas. Uh, let's uh, change the amplitude, reduce it, increase the octaves to add more details in the transitions, and uh, increase the frequency. Now we have uh, small patches of, um, of rocks appearing from beneath the mud. Let's make the mud more prevalent and add bit more elements here. Okay, this should be fine for us for the mud part. We'll save the material as mud and then we'll export it. So we'll choose the uh, target directory tutorials small skin terrain riverside oops no that's the terrain so let's add okay and create a subfolder and then uh, so uh, let's check the uh, parameters uh, I've already created a uh, specific parameter to export for Octane. So I export as 4K in JPEG files. I do not export a gloss, but I export. I do export a roughness. And all the other maps are quite standard. And now we export the six maps needed for this material. Let's create another mix for the grass. Okay, and as for the previous one, I will add a, a layer of uh, of ground. Um, soil dirt. Okay, as a uh, as before, I will change the repetitions to 3 and it looks fine now we need uh, some um, uh, some small debris as uh, just before because it will be a a layer with the grass so there is uh, there are probably small debris uh, that fell from the grass and uh, let's try I think this one would be interesting. So the debris are a bit too big, so let's add some repetition. They're a bit too prevalent too. I will do the same and add some noise to uh, To make the uh, the ground appear a bit more, and uh, okay, and the debris um, should not appear everywhere. But they should appear. Uh, I'm trying to adjust the. I think. Uh, zero was a uh, was fine. In fact, 
maybe a little negative yeah let's add a third layer and uh, this time we will add um, some grass so uh, we will use some uh, real grass uh, some 3d objects so this is only um, uh, a layer that will uh, show some uh, ground plants uh, that appear instead of grass in some places mm. uh, <laughs> I think I used that one grass and cuts and uh, yes it looks fine to me um, a bit more grass so we have that layer with the small uh, grasses and uh, small uh, debris and let's export it and call it grass and for some reason it did not store my preferences and export the six maps If you want to check what it has exported, uh, let's have a look at it. Uh, tutorials. And in the materials, we have all the maps here as 4K materials. Now, let's, let's create the last uh, mix, which it will be for the rocks. And for the rocks, uh, I will not uh, only uh, we use part of a uh, non uh, mega scans uh, material. So let's use the same ground base, soil dirt. But then I want a um, material uh, that currently uh, mega scans does not provide, and I want a material that I will take from another library. Uh, which is uh, the uh, real displacement textures. Um, the problem is that uh, normally it is not included in the in my li library, uh, so we'll have to import it. We, you can use Mega Scans with the external textures, even textures you have designed yourself, uh, as long as it has uh, the the textures have the um, correct. Uh, correct uh, uh, layers, uh, the correct uh, components. So let's import a custom surface and uh, first link it to the diffuse. I prefer to do it manually because I tend not to place all my uh, textures in the correct um, directory and in some cases it does not work properly. So I'm go and find uh, the material so this was downloaded from the uh, uh, real displacement textures website we'll use the 4k uh, size and import first the diffuse map then uh, we'll use the roughness map Uh, ambient occlusion, I prefer not to use it. Uh, normal. And the last component, which is probably the most important. Uh, the depth. So next, let's call it rock ground. One. And we need to, to specify the area uh, that it covers. If you look at the uh, the uh, texture provided texture uh, it mentions here that the surface covered was uh, two and a half meters so 2.5 by 2.5 meters uh, we'll uh, create it at the rock category and I will add a 25 centimeters high, uh, maybe 20. And uh, let's add some tags. 
rock, ground, gray. I think it could be enough for the demo. And let's import it. Now, if we want to add a new layer, we'll have the texture we imported in this uh, in this category. As you can see, I already uh, I had already imported it. Uh, if you look at these, uh, um, all these mixed rocks, main rows, all these, the ones that I highlight right now are custom textures that I imported from uh, either from uh, packs I purchased or from textures I um, I made myself. So let's go on with the rock ground. Uh, I'm not sure the displacement is is enough, so I should have uh, stayed with uh, 25 centimeters or even more. So in order to to make the displacement a bit more important, let's work with the, the low frequency. These are the places where rocks uh, protrude from the from the ground, and uh, there are just some places where the the ground appears be between the rocks. And uh, I will again add some noise in order to uh, add some vari variety to. Uh, I'll keep it keep it at one. One, two, and then two here too. Uh, it creates a few bumps. Uh, the amplitude might be a bit too much. Creates a few bumps and uh, makes the uh, the ground appear uh, in some more places. Okay. Let's export that one too. Rocks and our Octane preset and export the six maps. Now that we have our materials ready, let us work in Cinema 4D and Octane to implement them. I will go back to my Octane uh, viewport configuration, make launch the test renders and start with the, the first one we imported, the mud. So importing new materials is quite fast, you just choose the maps you need, uh, but we will not use displacement uh, because it's the mixed material roughness and maybe specular so the mud should be a glossy material in order to to work with the specularity roughness normal diffuse and specular so here's uh, how it looks the problem is that uh, we need, uh, let's go back to our view, hide the water plane. We need to, uh, to um, change the tiling because it's, uh, it will probably be a bit too big. So let's, no, 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 no that's the next step. Uh, we want to transform. And we'll change the tiling. This part will may not be seen very visible, but uh, I prefer to change the tiling anyway to a more reasonable uh, size. That's for the mud. Now the grass. So again, we have our materials ready. Again, no displacement because it's a mixed material. 
so we'll use only these and we'll apply the grass displacement to the mixed material uh, roughness normal diffuse and uh, let us uh, also change the uh, tiling with the, the transform node timing will change to 0.25 and as I said I will uh, now add the uh, displacement to the displacement layer and I will use the grass displacement as it is more visible than the uh, than the uh, rocks than the mud displacement by connecting it here it displaces the grass and uh, I will use the same transform node and now let us handle the displacement uh, maybe a bit more and then uh, here is a 4k displacement as you can see it breaks the, the mesh uh, a bit so to solve this we'll follow geometric normal and we now have our grass material ready on the uh, on the terrain the third one and the most interesting one is the rocks <coughs> so the rocks diffuse displacement this time we will apply displacement directly to the um, to this layer because it's uh, a, it's a single uh, material and then roughness normal displacement again 4k displacement with follow vertex normal to stop the breaking we'll adjust the displacement a bit later and last part the color transform node plus uh, we need to adjust the displacement after applying the transform node because uh, changing the uh, repetitions uh, affects uh, the displacement uh, size a lot so now we have a uh, more suitable uh, displacement on these uh, on these rocks maybe okay and then uh, let's try to uh, to increase the displacement here to make the rocks appear in uh, a little uh, in uh, some more areas so currently they do appear on many areas so let's reduce the uh, appearing displacement by lowering the uh, the rocks layer changing the mid level so if you increase the mid level it will go a bit uh, it will uh, push down the layer you don't, don't need to to move the plane to do this so now we have a uh, visible uh, rocks that are visible only on some part of the terrain I uh, let's save the scene and then uh, I'll uh, import the last material we need for the water I'm not really good with water material so the quickest way for me to do this is to import it from the live database and apply it to the water plane uh, I like to, all to play with the transparency uh, of uh, water so change the density to 4 in order to see a bit more uh, in de the, the depth that's what our scene looks like right now let's have a, another view 
from the top you can see the transparency of the water and then you can see the uh, the rocks that are only appearing in the some areas another thing that we could have done is uh, add some uh, erosion uh, an erosion material to mix with the rocks uh, in order to have some broken stones uh, appearing there okay let's go back to our default view this is all for this part of the tutorial um, so we saw that uh, you you can uh, texture this by using uh, Megascan's uh, assets and the Quixel mixer one thing is to keep uh, one common element or more than one common element to your different textures that you will be appearing to the terrain uh, this enables you to keep some coherence the small white rocks appearing here and there and the other thing is uh, that you can and should import uh, uh, additional textures in the uh, in the uh, quick cell mixer because it's uh, it adds some variety to the uh, to the materials and especially it enables you to import your own materials if you created some uh, we'll see uh, in the third part of this tutorial how, how to um, to add some plants uh, to this scene to make it a little more realistic